The Buddha said, when you see someone practicing donation, and though you merely assist him by encouraging and feeling joyful for him, the merits you are to acquire would be quite a cornucopia. Please continue watching to find out more. Buddha or Gautama Buddha, also known as Shakyamuni Buddha, was a great extraordinary spiritual master from ancient India. Born as Prince Siddhartha Gautama in the 5th century BC, he would have naturally inherited the vast wealth of the kingdom. However, the prince left the palace life in search of spiritual knowledge. After years of contemplative seeking, the Buddha attained great enlightenment under the Bodhi tree. He then shared the merits of his practice by providing a method for other sentient beings to be freed from the cycle of death and rebirth. The rich treasury of Buddha's spiritual doctrine on universal truths is studied and revered to this day for its deep wisdom and compassion. The Sutra of 42 chapters is thought to be the first Buddhist Sutra from India to be translated into Chinese during the 3rd century AD. His Majesty Emperor Ming of China one night dreamt of a golden being with light surrounding his body who flew into the palace. The next morning, His Majesty Emperor Ming summoned all his ministers and high officials to find out who this golden being might be. One of his ministers told the Emperor about a great spiritual master named Buddha whose teachings originated in India. Realizing that this must be the golden being in his dream, the emperor asked that a delegation go to the region where the Buddha had lived. He instructed them to request Buddhist scriptures that could help enlighten the Chinese people. The delegates traveled to India, where they were able to obtain Sanskrit sutras. They also invited the venerated Kasyapa Matanga and Dharma Raksha, whom they met during the trip, to return with them and assist in translation. The Sutra of 42 chapters is one of the most widely read of the Buddha's scriptures. This short but important scripture provides an entire range of Buddha's teachings, from the very basic to the most profound. We will now share with you some excerpts from the Sutra of 42 chapters, as revealed by the Buddha. Chapter 9 Returning to Origin to Convene with the Way The Buddha said, If a person loves the truthful way, and yet he tries to pursue it merely by extensive erudition, it would be hard for him to convene with the truthful way. If a man sustains his mind and observes the way, the way shall grow immensely vast to him. Chapter 10 joyful bestowals to acquire bliss. The Buddha said, When you see someone practicing donation, and though you merely assist him by encouraging and feeling joyful for him, the merits you are to acquire would be quite a cornucopia. Then a monk asked, Would the merits of the original donor be diminished by sharing with others? The Buddha replied, It is like the fire of a torch. If hundreds or thousands of people would come each with their torch to ignite by that flame, each torch they have ignited from the original one could be used to cook meals and keep a dark house bright, and yet the original torch would stay as bright as it used to be. To share merits with others is akin to that. Chapter 11 The Escalating Blisses Acquired from Various Recipients The Buddha said, You could offer food to a hundred vicious people, but it would be much better merit-wise to make the offering to a virtuous man. You could offer food to 1,000 virtuous people, but it would be much better merit-wise to make the offering to one person who observes the five precepts decreed by the Buddha. You could offer food to 10,000 observers of five precepts, but it would be much better merit-wise to make the offering to one Sarata Apana saint. You could offer food to one million Sarata Apana saints, but it would be much better merit-wise to make the offering to one Sakradagamin saint. 
you could offer food to 10 million Sakuradagamin saints, but it would be much better merit wise to make the offer to one Anagamin saint. You could offer food to 100 million Anagamin saints, but it would be much better merit wise to make the offering to one Arhat. You could offer food to 1 billion Arhats, but it would be much better merit wise to make the offering to one Pratyaka Buddha. You could offer food to 10 billion Pratyaka Buddhas, but it would be much better merit wise to make the offering to any one Buddha of the three tempora. You could offer food to 100 billion Buddhas of the three tempora, but it would be much better merit wise to make the offering to a practitioner in the state of non deliberation, non adherence, non cultivation, and non attestation. Chapter 12 To Exhort Practicing by Enunciating Difficulties The Buddha said, There are 20 difficulties for ordinary people, namely, it is hard for them to make donations when they are indigent. It is hard for them to learn the truthful way when they are in nobility and in power. It is hard for people to disregard their lives and even to die for the sake of the truthful way. It is hard for people to have the opportunity to read a Buddha Sutra. It is hard for people to be born at the time of a Buddha. It is hard for people to withstand coition and desires. It is hard for people to have perceived something desirable and yet refrain themselves from the pursuit of it. It is hard for people to stay unangered when they are humiliated. It is hard for people not to become overbearing when they are in power. It is hard for people to maintain nonchalant when they have business at hand to cope with. It is hard for people to learn extensively and still be able to scrutinize catholically. It is hard for people to eliminate the egoistic arrogance. It is hard for people not to disparage their untutored. It is hard for people to be equitable in their mental activities. It is hard for people not to gossip about other people's affairs. It is hard for people to encourage a genuine good guru. It is hard for people to witness their own original nature in practicing the truthful way. It is hard for people to deliver people pursuant to adventitious circumstances. It is hard for people to stay unmoved on perceiving a phenomenon. It is hard for people to comprehend the expedite means of dharma and put them to use. Blessed viewers, it's been a pleasure to have your company on today's excerpts from the Sutra of 42 Chapters, Part 2 of 2, Chapters 9 to 12, on Words of Wisdom. <laughs>